At least 900 protesters have been arrested since the launch of pro-Palestinian demonstrations on university campuses across the U.S., where students are raging against the Israeli regime's U.S.-backed genocidal war on Gaza. The Washington Post reported the tally on Sunday, the 10th straight day of the protests that began after Columbia University set up an encampment to demand cessation of the war and press the school to divest from Israeli financial interests. The crackdown then started when university authorities called in the police, a move that sparked more than 100 arrests on the university's Manhattan campus. Two other highlights in the crackdown saw police forces rounding up roughly the same number of people at New York University and Emerson College in Boston. Protests have also erupted across numerous other seats of learning, including Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island, the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor, Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Cambridge, and California State Polytechnic in Humboldt. The ensuing countrywide counter-campaign of suppression has seen law enforcement resorting to riot control methods against the protesters. The methods have featured the same tools and tactics that were deployed to confront the thousand strong protests that sparked across the country after a Minneapolis police officer killed George Floyd four years ago, The Daily reported. At Emory University last week, Atlanta police said officers used chemical irritants to clear an encampment, and a Georgia State Patrol officer was captured on video using a stun gun to subdue a man on the ground, it said. Academics have meanwhile been banding together throughout the U.S. under the banner of Faculty and Staff for Justice in Palestine, or FSJP. Earlier in April, the FSJP's Georgia chapter called on Morehouse College in Atlanta, which invited Joe Biden as its 2024 commencement speaker to rescind its invitation as a means of objecting to the president's role in enabling the Israeli genocide. At Biden's behest, the United States has been providing the Israeli war with unreserved military and intelligence support. The U.S. has also vetoed several United Nations Security Council resolutions calling for an immediate ceasefire in the brutal military onslaught that has so far claimed the lives of at least 34,454 Gazans, mostly women and children. The displaced people of Gaza have written graffiti on their tents, thanking students at American universities who joined the nationwide Gaza protest encampment movement. The new development came as the war in Gaza continues to reverberate through U.S. university campuses, where students have camped out in tents as they protest Israel's crimes. We are supporting all students at all the universities that support us. They stood by Justice Case, which is our Palestinian Gaza. Yes, this is a message from us. The displaced people in the southern Gaza, especially Rafa. A message to everyone stood by us all students, especially at Columbia University. A Palestinian man was quoted by Reuters as saying, these graffiti are to stop the war and massacres that are committed by Israel against the Palestinian people. We call all the world to stand by these poor people to end this war and these massacres. They attack us. How can I explain it? They target us like we are animals. We are humans. We were born human, a displaced Gazan said. Pro-Palestinian groups have called on universities to end investments in companies that support or profit from Israel's military actions in the occupied Palestinian territories. Many Jewish students are among organizers of campus protests, which have been marked with peaceful chatting, reading, eating and holding both Jewish and Muslim prayer ceremonies.